Welcome back guys So today's part 5 And what we're going to do today Is create This guy We're going to draw him out We're going to make sure we have enough points To enable him to be able to turn And bend And do all the other bits that he needs to be able to do We're going to add his hands His legs And then we're going to import the other assets That we created in the previous videos so that's going to be the eye, the mouth, the hand and the foot. And then we're just going to duplicate and flip them for the other side. So what we want to do is open up a new project. And you want to import a picture of a can or you can get it from the internet or whatever, whatever object that you want to, you want to draw. And then I'm going to create just one layer I'm going to rename it body and go to my add points tool I'm going to go to my width and put it down to one as I said it's a preference you can have it at whatever line width that you want I'm just going to come in there and draw the shape of the can and I'm going to be mindful of point placement so I'm going to have one there one here I'm going to have one here one here I'm going to have one in the middle which is going to allow it to bend just one at the bottom here It's as simple as that. There's probably a bit more points than I needed, but sometimes it's good to have more points, and if I don't need them later, I can simply just delete them. But again, I try to be as symmetrical as I can, and an alternative way of doing it would be to just draw out one side, copy it, paste it, flip it, and then just attach the two remaining points here and that way you know it's exactly symmetrical so that's our basic shape of a can uh, now we can see we've got our, our lid and I'm going to draw this basically on the same on the same layer damn it got auto weld on and this is going to be our hair I'm just going to do that and the same for the bottom There we have it. This is our, our body. And all we want to do now is create another layer. And I'm going to name that our arm. Create another layer. Name that one L arm. And do the same for both legs so another layer and call that our leg and one more layer and call that our leg and then you just want to go to your add points tool on your arm layer and you just want to draw a, a line to the elbow say and another line like that 
same for your L arm. And your two legs. So you want to do a line for your R leg and your L leg gets a line also. And I just want to fill these in now. So I'm going to go to my stroke and I'm going to pick a thicker, a line width. Oh, let me just fill it in first. So I'm going to choose a black colour. just fill it in just so that you guys can see it I'm gonna select it and just make it a bit bigger and do the same for the left arm and both legs and there's our basic shape of our character I'm just going to go now into him and shade him. So I'm going to select all of his points using the select shape tool on the body layer. I'm just going to pick a color. Let's, let's go with yellow. I'm going to have yellow for this guy. And we're going to add a bit of shade into him. So I'm going to go to my effects panel and click on shaded and you'll get your, your little box here and I'm just going to leave it on its default settings and I'm going to give it a little shade like that I'm going to colour in the top also so I'm just going to select it using the select shape tool click on fill Pick a colour, let's go with a, like a greyish colour and do the same for the bottom. I'm going to fill it the same colour as I filled this. And there we have our basic can shape. Uh, I might add a little bit more detail, so I might just add, say, I might mask it so. I'm going to create another layer and I'm going to call this detail and I'm going to create a folder and call that body and drag the detail and the body layer into that folder ensuring that the body layer is underneath the detail layer clicking on the body folder layer click mask in and click hide all and on our detail layer i'm just going to do like a two rectangles like so I'm going to select them using the select shape tool I'm going to remove our line our stroke I'm going to change our fill to white and make it transparent and do the same to the other one So now we've got our character all drawn out. I kind of want to get him prepared for for rigging. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to go to my body layer, my body folder, and I'm going to right click it and I'm going to convert it to a to a bone layer. And I'm going to drag the legs, the arms, both legs and both arms into that and I'm going to place them underneath my body
and I'm going to add all of the components to the mask so click on your left leg right click it click add to mask same with your alarm right click it add to mask and add to mask So now what we need to do is import the assets that we've created from our previous video and the easiest way to do that is by going to import anime studio object and I've got a folder called assets and I'm just going to import the feet, the hands, the mouth and the eye. So let me get the mouth in first. to resize that hand in I'm just going to rotate that and with the hand the hand is not going to be masked so you need to right click it and click add to mask and then you want to duplicate that layer and go to your layer transform transform layer and just want to flip it and just move it over I think it's a bit big as ends but we're gonna leave it like that and then we want to do the same for the feet so you just want to go to your import anime studio objects click on feet and you just want to import that Okay, so once you've imported your eye, and um, I've gone in and imported a different trainer or sneaker or whatever you want to call it, so my character from what you would have. This is one that I've created pre previously, and obviously yours is going to look a lot different, um, but it's it was created the exact same way. Um, it can move left and right, and all the way to the back, like so. So we just want to go into the mouth and kind of resize it so it fits it fits better within the space and the same with the eye I just want to maybe make that a little bit smaller and I'm going to duplicate this eye and just flip it yeah it is still a little bit too big so I'm gonna what I might do is actually reshape the eye so that it doesn't take up so much space within shape it like that so I'm going to duplicate that and just flip it like that so here we have it and there's a few other little bits that I want to add to this so in our detail layer I'm just going to come here and give this guy a lip and I'm going to fill that in maybe four four is too big let's take it down a touch I'm going to use 
use this tool, the line width tool, to just neaten up this line here. And the curvature tool. Also going to give him some eyebrows, some eye details. I'm going to do that. Move them off, scratch that. I'm just going to copy this one. I'm going to fill the stroke with say three, so we can see it. and paste it just flip it and drag it over here and then I'm going to select the shapes and I'm going to go to my brush tool I'm going to select one of these brushes I'm not sure if you guys have used these brushes before but some of them are pretty cool and you can get some good effects with them so what should we do with eyebrows? This one. It's got to play about with whatever, whatever style that you like. And I'm just going to increase the width of it. I don't like that one. Gonna go with. I'm gonna go with this one, just for the sake of the video. No, I'm not gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with this one. And I'm going to go to my line width tool. I'm just going to thin out that bit there. And drag it a bit over the eye. And I'm going to select this one and just copy that. So here we have it. Our character is completed I'm going to add another shoe also but I want to change the color of this one so before I duplicate it I'm just going to There we have it. Our character is finished. Next video, we're gonna go in, add the bones, add a little bit more detail. I mean, I think I might give him some hair. So I'm gonna to go to my body layer. I'm gonna select the line of this. And I'm gonna use my eyedropper tool and just Click on the eyebrow, and then now he has some hair. Okay, so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a bit fast and it was a bit rushed, but this series is not really about drawing. Um, it's more to do with rigging and how I go about doing my turns. So, watch the next video. Um, we're gonna add some bones. finish off the character and then we're going to start adding some smart bone actions and body turns so yes yeah, stay, stay tuned <laughs>